Hello, my name is Eric Chappell, author of AutoCAD Civil 3D 2014 Essentials, and this is the Essentials and Beyond exercise for Chapter 2. In this exercise, we're going to open the drawing called Parcels, which I've already opened, and we're going to do some things to demonstrate some of the relationships that you learned about in Chapter 2. The first relationship we're going to look at is seeing the, the, the change of a style or how assigning a different style changes the appearance of an object. And we're going to do that by changing the style applied to a parcel, changing it to open space. So I'm going to zoom into the parcel here, parcel 59. Click on the parcel area label, which is the way that you select a parcel in Civil 3D. And I'll actually open the properties window. And in the properties window, I'll make this a little smaller so it doesn't take up quite so much space. I can change the style of the parcel to something other than single family. In this case, we're going to use the style of open space. And when I make that change, you can see that the outline becomes green. Now, another way that I can do the same operation is using the parcel properties command. I'll click on the parcel area label to select it. I'll click on Parcel Properties, and using that dialog, I can change the style as well, or assign a different style, in this case, Open Space. So there we can see how assigning a different style to an object changes the appearance of that object. So that's a relationship between style and object. Next, we're going to look at, in, in num item number two, the relationship between a label style and the label and we'll look at the area label within a parcel. So again, I'll click on the parcel, I'll open the properties window, and this time I want to change the parcel area label style. The exercise step asks us to change it to something that shows more than just the parcel number. So let's use name, square foot, and acres, and here we can see that it shows um, the acreage information as well. Just as we did in the previous example, we can do the same thing with the Parcel Properties command. So I'll click Parcel Properties, this time going to the Composition tab, and I'll change the, air, the uh, style of the area label to Name, Square Foot, and Acres, and we get a similar result there as well. Next, we'll take a look at the relationship between objects and other objects. So I'm going to look at this in the large window on the left. And let's look at what happens when we change the geometry of this road center line. This happens to be an alignment. And I'm going to make a slight change to the radius of the alignment. And watch what happens to the right-of-way lines and the parcels in the same area as that alignment. They recalculate and adjust themselves automatically. The right-of-way line on either side of the road has adjusted, it, has adjusted itself to remain parallel, and the parcel lines have reconnected themselves to that area to maintain their relationship to the frontage. Another couple of things you may have noticed is that the lines move around a bit and the labels move with them. So not our, only are we seeing relationships between parcels and alignments and other alignments, we're also seeing relations between those objects and their labels as well. So there's a lot of dynamic behavior going on with this slight change that I made. Let's look at it one more time. Notice how the right-of-way alignments update automatically, maintaining their parallel relationship to the center line, and the parcel lines shift around as well. So that's a, a really good example of objects relating to objects and also objects relating to there are labels spatially. We're going to look at some grip editing behavior now on the parcel lines. So I'm going to click on a parcel line and use its diamond shaped grip to move it around. Um, notice how it maintains its relationship to the frontage of the parcel. It stays perpendicular. And when I click a location, it refines the back lot line and reestablishes that connection to form the lot. I'll do a similar operation with this parcel line and watch how it is smart enough to know that it no longer connects with this back lot line but needs to connect with this curved back lot line when I pick a new location. Again, I want to show the relationship with the labels. 
So I'm going to pick the area label style for for this parcel right here and change it also to name square foot and acre so we can take a look at the area values and watch what happens when I change the location of this parcel line the acreage and the square footage updates automatically so again we're seeing a relationship between a label and its object where not just not only does the label move to the correct location but it also updates its own information to, to reflect the correct information for the object that it references. And finally we're going to show a relationship between an object in one drawing and an object in another drawing. Now this, uh, in order to do part of this you need to have completed the exercise on data shortcuts earlier in the chapter and if you did you're going to see under data shortcuts here a surface called existing ground that's been published as a data shortcut. If you don't have that, you may need to go back to that exercise and do some of the steps in that exercise. But what I'm going to do is create a reference to that surface within this drawing. And currently I do have alignments in my drawing, but I, my ultimate goal is to make a profile of this surface along this alignment. So I'm going to create a reference to that surface. I'm going to use a style for the surface. That's something that we can see pretty well. I'll use contours 1 and 5 background. So you can see um, the contours in the drawing. And now we need to create a profile along that alignment. So I'll go to the profile command, create surface profile. I'll add existing ground to main road A. And then I'll draw that in profile view. And I'll use this uh, upper right viewport to show my profile view and there we have it. An alignment in this drawing is combining with a surface from another drawing to create a profile. So there we're seeing the relationships between objects that actually reside in different drawings. So lots of exciting relationships and dynamic behavior built into Civil 3D. That's what makes it so powerful. That Those are the capabilities that have the potential to save you a lot of time if you take advantage of them. And that concludes the Essentials and Beyond exercise for Chapter 2.